It can solve maths problems. It can write a letter as a response to you from your boss. It can also create college level essays, which were not ever done by any other AIs before. In today's episode of It's Different in Future, let's talk about ChatGPT, an AI-based chatbot developed by OpenAI, and understand how it's going to impact our interactions with AI in the future. So what is ChatGPT? Now ChatGPT is an AI based chatbot by the artificial intelligence company OpenAI. Now one of the best things about this chatbot is the responses to your question are very human like and this chatbot also remembers the previous questions that you've asked. So it's more of a conversation that you're having with this chatbot which is more natural as compared to any other chatbot that has been ever encountered by us before. So how does ChatGPT work? Well it works mostly like how other AIs work. It is trained on a larger database of information from the internet. But why are people talking about this? If there's any company or any chatbot that has come so close as to replacing Google, it's this one. So what can ChatGPT do as an AI for you? It can solve maths problems. It can write a letter as a response to you from your boss. It can also create college level essays, which were not ever done by any other AIs before. Right now, ChatGPT is able to respond to your questions in form of text. You have to read it. But in the future, ChatGPT will be able to respond back to you with a voice, a voice of your choice. And these will be very smart interactive answers that you can have. So imagine yourself as I am man and having a conversation with Jarvis. You ask questions, you will be able to get your responses and you'll be able to have an interactive conversation with your AI. Also think of it as an AI that can be used in schools. Tomorrow, we might not just see teachers here. Robots might just replace them. And these robotic teachers with this chat interface or with this AI based interface is going to be interacting with your children, answering their questions, responding back to any queries that they have and also helping them understand a subject as per their intellect level in a very better way. Also, these AI based robots or companions can be deployed for elderly people who live by themselves. They can have an interaction or a companion or an AI based companion who has a conversation with them, helps them come out of boredom and also helps them stay connected to their children who are probably abroad, keeping the children informed about their health, their needs on a regular basis. But there is also a gray side to this or a darker side to applications of such AI. With such an interactive chatbot or an AI which will respond to you, there is a possibility that your children might become very lazy and might stop doing their homework altogether is because they can just ask the chatbot to do it for you. Even experts who fear that someday AIs will become self-aware and maybe take over humanity altogether or even eradicate us completely. Even if that's not going to happen, AIs can also be hacked or AIs can also be used to hack government databases or sensitive information which can be leaked out. So there are positive uses to an AI, but there are also negative uses to AI. So we have to put these guidelines or understand or put measures so that such systems or such powerful systems cannot be misused. This has been another episode of It's Different in Future. This is Aurelius from Mashable India signing off.